Hi there. Welcome again to my Facebook talk. And uh, this week I'd like to be very brief as I can possibly be uh, informing you what's happening in the, in the court case uh, filed in regards to the no confidence motion. It is expected that the Chief Justice will rule on the number of cases uh, before the court and whatever is the outcome tomorrow, I suspect that uh, there would be appeal uh, proceedings filed and you would have those avenues open to the Court of Appeal and our final Court of Appeal of Guyana, which is the Caribbean Court of Justice. So uh, tomorrow would be just another step in what is likely to be a long, lengthy process because you know why. This is an unprecedented development for Guyana to have a vote of no confidence file in the National Assembly and on a slender one seat uh, majority, the parliament had deemed that the motion was carried and the speaker had said that he had doubts whether uh, that was the requirement under the Constitution, what is called the uh, need for an absolute majority. So the court is engaged now and I do not want to deal with the arguments uh, that would be um, looked, up, looked by, uh, on by the Chief Justice in regards to the merit of the case. But what I know is that uh, in these circumstances either side the government or the opposition would use every opportunity to take this matter further uh, down the road to ensure that justice is done completely, fully, and therefore we expect to see uh, that the government will continue in, in office, will continue to discharge its functions. The leader of the opposition agree with the president that uh, the government remains in place and that 100% uh, he said and uh, parliament is, is open and the work of the state continues. So those of you who are listening to me right now, you should be assured that nothing happens tomorrow that will disturb the peace. Nothing will happen tomorrow that will disturb the work of government and the maintenance of law and order, the maintenance of peace, which we have kept over the last three and a half years in a way that has earned Guyana a repetition overseas. Uh, everywhere, people are saying that a new Guyana has emerged from where we were before as a country noted for pervasive corruption death squads, phantom killings, drug lords running amok. We have now stabilized this country and you can see the recognition granted to Guyana. Every day a foreign agency says that Guyana is good for business. The entire world is looking at Guyana now on the eve of us starting production of oil estimated at 5 billion barrels. This year, I'm told, we should start that process. So tomorrow's court ruling should not be an is issue to be exploited by anyone to destabilize our country, to make our country ungovernable. And the government and the security forces have been doing an excellent job to maintain the calm, and stability in our society. In the meantime, I can tell you that uh, there is a fan out exercise by government officials. This week, we opened a new uh, office of the Guyana Revenue Authority in way up the north of our country. The Mabaruma Region 1 area has now have access to uh, revenue authority services. In the same way we have in all the outlining areas, new radio stations being opened. During this week, 
a group of ministers will fan out into the Rupununi, into the deep south of our country, to touch base with our Guyanese citizens, mostly uh, our citizens of indigenous uh, origins, and they will inform them, fully brief them, as to what is happening in their state, the state of Guyana. We will have a, a fan out exercise over the weekend uh, in Linden, the mining town, and uh, we will touch base with residents there and then go over uh, on Sunday to Vredenhoek. So all over Guyana, where there's it is quarantine, where there's West Babis, West Damarara, Esukibo Coast, Esukibo Islands, the Rupununi and other parts of the hinterland, your government is there providing you information, providing you services, and make sure that our country continues to make the incredible progress it has been making over these last few years. And so we want to assure you that we are continuing the work for which we have been elected. I have told you before, that the confidence that is reposed in our government comes from the elections of 2015. 2,000 and 6,000 voters placed their confidence in us, elected us to office. We are not a government running around with 24 votes uh, pretending to be leader of a new government. We have 206,000 votes. Those voters have not betrayed us. Those voters continue to support us. And so whatever the outcome of uh, the case or cases tomorrow in the court, it is part of a process and we will continue to uh, make such uh, uh, judgments as we can in relation to how the other processes will kick in. For example, people are saying that you should have elections this year. Well, I don't know. That's a matter for the Elections Commission to decide whether it has a voters list, a, 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 a perfect voter list, whether it is allowed the, the, the young people who were 15 years old in 28, 15, now becoming 20, in 2019 eligible to vote, whether they will be able to put them on the electoral roll. So the Elections Commission has a very big role to play in telling us whether it is ready for elections. So that this talk, uh, people running around all over, elections, 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 government must resign, government must resign, these are not helpful at this time. And we must observe the due process. We must observe all those stages of democracy, electoral democracy, and not rush into a situation where we cannot deliver free, fair, transparent, and credible elections. The Guyanese people are demanding no less than having open and transparent elections, and therefore the court matters are going to be one side of this uh, delicate situation before us, but also on the other side, we have the work of the Elections Commission, which must be completed before the government can, in fact, announce whether there will be elections or not. So I uh, hope you have a very uh, good weekend. In Guyana, I know we have lovely sunshine, a warm, comfortable uh, environment in our country, but somewhere else you may have Guyanese, including my own family right now, facing the freezing cold in the Midwest and some other parts of the United States. Be safe, be warm, protect yourself. We love you all. Thank you.